Hey everyone. I recently used Microsoft Azure streaming video services and was so impressed with the workflow and the DRM integration that I thought I would just create a quick how-to video to show just how easy it is. In about 10 minutes, you can ingest your video, encode it, set the DRM encryption, enable the CDN endpoint, and stream your video. I'll show you how to do it. And I'll also show you how to test it on JW Player and in the Azure portal. All right, so let's get started. One of the cool things is it's really easy to organize your items in the uh, portal. You can put things that you use most at the top. I just uh, put media services at the top to make it a little easier to get to. I've already created a media service but if you need to add one, you just click here, add, put in the uh, account name, lowercase only. I recommend just creating a new group unless you have one already and you're familiar with it. You select the location you want it to be in and you associate it with a storage account or create a new storage account uh, to hold your video files. I've already done that here, so it's already prepped up. It only takes a few minutes to do though. Um, you can or organize your dashboard just about any way you want, but your services that you create will show up here. Here under encoding is one of the changes you'll probably want to make whenever you're doing different uh, media processing jobs. Depends on your workload and your time needs, but basically adding processing units here is like adding GPUs and will speed your processing time but there are some costs associated with that. So you select from tier one, two, and three here. And for tiers two and three, you can um, add up to 10 additional processing units and it'll speed your encoding time and time to process uh, media related jobs. So I think uh, it's something you're gonna wanna tweak from time to time, especially if you're ingesting a lot of videos. All right, so we're done adding media processing units. You can see here, um, I've added two for this particular job, which is enough. And the next step really is uploading uh, video files. So uh, before we do that though, I wanna go ahead and uh, start the streaming endpoints. If you don't do that later on, when you're done uploading your videos and encoding and you start to publish, uh, you'll get an error under the stream. So uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that now. You can see here it stopped. We're going to go ahead and start that. Usually once you kick off the uh, streaming endpoint process, it'll take a couple minutes. Uh, you can go check the status and see what it shows. Right here it shows it's actually starting. Um, we'll jump ahead and go ahead and uh, skip the processing. And there you go. So now it's started and we can move ahead with uh, uploading our first file. Okay, so now we're going to upload a uh, fresh video. So you go ahead and select your file. And this is the ingest process. It's basically copying your video up. It's gonna take a few minutes depending on your internet connection and how large the file is. I'm going to spare you the progress bar on this one. And uh, we'll fast forward. There we go, so that's done. Now we can move on. And you see the video is there. Under assets now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna, going to encode it. You can choose from a couple different encoding options. You can choose standard or you can choose the premium. We're gonna go with standard on this one. Uh, you can also choose from a number of different uh, formats. I'm gonna go ahead and do H.264 and 720p on this one and uh, you can go ahead and generate automatically a thumbnail. You can choose from a PNG, JPEG, BMP. I'm gonna go ahead and do a JPEG on this one. 
and then we can start the encoding process. Now once you started the encoding process you'll see it under jobs and you'll see a status as to where it is uh, whether it's uh, in process or queued up or completed. So in this case we can see um, we had one that was done already and this one is now processing. So again I will uh, spare you the progress bar on this one. So we fast forward there, it's finished and now we see it uh, converted and encoded as an MP4 multi-bit rate. You may not need it for your purposes but we're going to go ahead and put some DRM protection on this file. Uh, we're going to encrypt it using Microsoft's PlayReady 128-bit implementation of uh, AES, the uh, advanced encryption standard, pretty widely used. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. It'll handle the encryption dynamically. Uh, you don't have to worry about handling the key exchange or anything like that. It's all handled for you. It's one of the nice things about uh, this uh, platform. Now we just publish out. We'll select from a couple of options. You can choose progressive download or streaming. We're going to go with streaming here. And once we select that, uh, we'll go and select the streaming URL link. And that'll provide us with multiple uh, streaming links for various standards. We have the smooth streaming. We have Dash, which is an international standard. And then we have HLS 3 and 4, which are Apple standards. What I want to show you real quick is an easy way to test your video in the media player. Make sure your video is working. And it looks like everything came through fine. It's ready to go. Uh, another way you can test it is through uh, JW Player. JW Player has an online page uh, where you can test streams with various settings. So we can test the HLS stream. Um, on the JW player and I'll show you that to you next. So we're going to go to the published URLs for the streams that we created and we're going to select and copy the HLS4 stream and we're basically going to paste that into the JW player portal uh, for testing. So. If you're not sure what the URL is for this, just do a Google search for JW Player Streaming Test. Uh, you'll likely find this page pretty easily. Uh, basically paste the streams in here. Make sure to change the DRM settings to Play Ready for Microsoft uh, Standard. Test it and see if the video comes through. So if it does, it's ready to drop into your website, into whatever player you have that supports HLS streams or Dash what have you, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, share it, like it, and subscribe.